Hello everyone, Matt Bauer here once again with another How My Computer Works video. This one will focus on computers. Shocking, right? Okay, more specifically, the age-old decision of buying a PC or a Mac. In this video, I'll discuss the main selling points of each so you can make an informed decision on your next computer purchase. I'll choose my winner in each category, but you can ultimately choose yours. So, the first category is design. My choice here is the Mac. Apple is notorious for being meticulous about design details and aesthetics. This is evident in their all-in-one designs of both their desktops, laptops, and, of course, their mobile devices. However, PC manufacturers seem to be closing this cosmetic gap with their own all-in-one designs, and, in my opinion, they're looking pretty sleek. Next, we've got software. Now on a Mac, you'll find a decent array of excellent mainstream software for business applications and just getting most tasks done. But when it comes to sheer volume and variety of software, especially with gaming, PC is the clear winner. Although the phrase, there's an app for that, originated with the iPhone's App Store, it's definitely true for PCs. There are usually multiple Windows programs for any given possible task, so chances are good that you'll find an application that works for whatever you need to do on your computer. However, whether or not that application leaves you with a headache the size of Texas leads us to our next category, stability. Microsoft has made some big strides in this area, especially with Windows 7 a few years ago. Of course, the verdict has yet to come in on the upcoming release of Windows 8, but in the meantime, my winner in this category is Mac OS X. Now up to version 10.8, or Mountain Lion as it's called, Apple's operating system has been quite solid and stable, and this is mainly due to its underlying Unix architecture. Now I won't get into specifics on that, but basically Unix is considered the tried and true standard for stability on any platform. Now what also makes a big difference is that Apple's operating system is fine-tuned and optimized for the hardware on which it runs. Windows, on the other hand, has to use third-party device drivers and a multitude of other software from various places to make everything work. Our next category is security. Now it's long been thought that PCs constantly get viruses and Macs are safe from them. Well, as recently proven, Macs can indeed get viruses and other malware, just like PCs. The scarcity of Mac viruses has been largely due to the scarcity of the Mac's market share. And that makes sense, since malware will obviously have the most impact on the most users, and the most users are on PCs. However, as Apple's market share grows, its popularity with malware creators grows. So in this category, there's no clear winner. Whatever you decide, you should always secure your new computer with a reputable anti-malware application. And we can, of course, help you choose the best one and set it up for you. So just give us a call and we'll be glad to help. And finally, cost. This is probably the number one factor for choosing between a Mac and PC. Macs are noticeably more expensive than PCs when comparing the actual hardware inside them. However, some might argue that the extra cost is justified since, as I mentioned earlier, the Mac's hardware and operating system are tuned for speed and stability and although the individual Mac components are manufactured by different companies, they are rigorously tested and ensured to work together as seamlessly as possible. Apple also tends to use higher quality components on average than PC manufacturers, so while PCs are priced significantly less than Macs, they may not last as long and may experience hardware issues more often. Of course, your mileage may vary, so this category might be best titled Value, with the winner being up to you, the buyer. To make the decision a bit easier, it could come down to the age-old question, for what purpose or purposes do you use your computer? While a Mac tends to be more of a getting things done sort of machine, if those things are just internet surfing, email, and basic photo viewing, a lesser expensive PC might be for you. But if you're more of a video editor, photographer, audio engineer, or other content creator, a Mac might be better for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment below or send me an email. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. If you have any questions about this particular video or if you have any comments or training suggestions, just send me an email at training at mycomputerworks.com. 
You can find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the more info section just below this video. And if you have any questions about My Computer Works or would like to know more information about our services, just call us at the number you see below or visit us online at mycomputerworks.com. My name is Matt Bauer. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.